everyone, welcome to your Level 30 News Minute. Here's the most notable headlines from the gaming world in the least amount of time for April 30th, 2021. There ain't no party like a Mario Party, because a Mario Party don't stop. Well, up until just this week, Super Mario Party was devoid of any sort of meaningful online play. Unless you like the same 10 mini games, that is. Out of blue, Nintendo released an update that provides full online play to the game. While this would have been way more helpful last year when we were all at home and playing games as a means to connect to others, the update is better late than ever. Now we can curse, yell, and hate our friends from the comfort of our own homes. While I prefer screaming and yelling that comes with couch co-op, this is still a great option for virtual game nights. For those still rocking the Wii and have a mountain of cash to burn, you can own a royal piece of hardware. A 24 karat gold Wii console has gone up for sale with an asking price of $300,000. The royal part? It was originally owned by Queen Elizabeth II. The expensive collector's item was originally given to the Queen from video game company THQ as a promotional stunt for their then latest release title, Big Family Games. While we're not sure if she used to play it for the game they gave it to her for, we do know she was a fan of Wii Bowling. Last week marked the release of the Mortal Kombat film, which had its fair share of middling reviews, but was still campy, over the top, and a ton of fun. The film had several major callbacks to games in the storied history of the franchise, as well as a few Easter eggs for longtime fans. A few days after the film was released, screenwriter Greg Russo had said that one of the more obtuse Easter eggs was written into the script, but ultimately cut, which was the inclusion of the line, Toasty. Toasty! A joke that started in Mortal Kombat 2. Russo had said, quote, I worked really hard to get the line Toasty in there. Toasty! It had a spot in the story that didn't feel cringe, like it worked, but it was edited out. End quote. Since some of the actors have reportedly signed on for a sequel, maybe it's being saved for round two. Well, that's it for this week's News Minute. Be sure to check out our other videos, like the latest episode of Press Start, where Mike and Tom take on Super Smash TV. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Toasty!